she did this for more than one cash machine that was to sell all this research which I think to be the kitchen in this case. So you can choose this software from this uh, tie in and take away. You can choose a member or non member. This is the menu setup. This menu can be customized anytime you want according to customer requirement. You just tap the screen and then choose and then choose. Then you can see of course there's another set of the menu as well. There's a combination of these uh, setup for these uh, ingredients. Okay, confirm. This is the uh, list out, this is uh, your this uh, card for this uh, order now. You can go to next. Then actually here you still can have the this uh, dine in or take away you can choose. Whether you can choose one, either one, okay, and then you add in quantity as well. Then after that, you can use the amount of 55 to pay payment. Okay, this payment here is uh, now we set up this uh, cash card, a net from Singapore or WeChat. Okay, of course, you can add in the other payment method as well. Now, it's, for example, I check this with cash. This is requesting now, this is showing me the $55. So I need to put in the money to the machine. This actually is a cash coin and then the cash note. And then put in this 100. And then it displays this 100 and the changing this 45. You can see this is the money come out. Actually it's a 20 piece of this 20 to 40. And then coin here actually is a 5 bucks. So it's a 45 bucks. So now I'm waiting this processing. Actually, here we will come out of this uh, receipt. This is a receipt, then, and then this is uh, my this Q number. Or oh, two two Q already. Okay, this is uh, actually the amount that I pay. This is the amount that I pay, and then how much I charge, and then the balance. Okay, come to the kitchen. Kitchen here actually we display the message to the kitchen, the cook, the chef, to print out the receipt here. And then when this uh, food is served, the chef actually need to press on this uh, number and show that this is number the calling. And then the uh, uh, user can see the uh, customer can see number and come to collect it. Then uh, when they finish it, then able to this uh, delete it. It's very. And then for the second order, I display again. They call again. If the customer not notify this uh, message, then you recall again for second calling. Okay, this actually is a complete set of the uh, kitchen and the monitor uh, uh, KDS system. And then come back to this uh, fan end system. Okay, come to the fan end system. This back end system here, uh, assuming that I have the my counter number is a 0001 and then I key in the password. This is showing that this actually is a function that cashier can operate it by himself or herself to starting the dairy uh, withdrawing float. This float is a preset in the back end system, can be a, a any amount you setting. So the cashier only can select the package 1 or package 3. So I uh, pointed this uh, amount. Then you can accept, withdraw it. Then the machine actually come out of the amount that you display. Which is, is about 135 baht. And then you're able to print out the receipt to confirm that this is proof that they are withdraw the money. Really. This is how the daily uh, operation for this uh, casual to withdraw the money from the machine without going back to office. So at the end of the day, then uh, the cashier is able to deposit the sales and then just uh, insert uh, this uh, one part of this uh, money, the cash, even the, not only one by one, and then they insert one by one, and then all the coin they put in uh, this uh, coin slot, and then you display out, this is a total amount, and then the individual note they display out for you. So just confirm. And then you print out the receipt that you already deposit the amount. Okay. So in case that the cashier actually do not have money enough, 
they also can withdraw, uh, withdraw this uh, credit cash. Of course, it will authorize by a person only. So let's say I want to withdraw 100. The enter. So they withdraw. This is the 100 note to come out. This is 100 note. So if what happened that if I want to change this 100 note to a small note, okay, I can do the exchange. This exchange I input uh, this amount 100 and enter. And then I want to exchange to this uh, 20 baht, about 2 copy, 5 baht, about 4 copy, and then 10 baht, about 2 copy. Oh, it's about 100 baht now. Actually, it's a combination of this uh, the amount. Okay, can start. This is confirm, and then you sort in the machine. Uh, the sort in money in the machine, the income. And then they will display out this as a money you store in, and then the amount you will uh, change. This is uh, actually a amount that you want to uh, insert into 100 baht. Confirm. So they will exchange with this uh, note, with this uh, 10, 2 copy of this uh, 30 baht, and then this is a coin combination with the 100 baht. This is so convenient. That this is a receipt that will be displayed out. So these, all these functionality actually can be changed according to the customer requirement. So it's not only for the application for this uh, so-called winter market. So can they go to do this uh, money exchange? Let the foreigner come to this another country that want to exchange money. This machine can be able to accept the amount of people to have so this is the only function. Okay, so anything can cause.